welcome to my little corner. In this video, I'm here with my husband once again, and we are gonna do uh, trying snacks from Brazil. Again, this is a subscription box from Universal Yums, and I will have the link to their website in the description of this video so you can order your own box. This is not sponsored, by the way. And we are gonna dig in into our snacks from Brazil. Okay, this box is quite packed. <laughs> it just looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so... I feel like some of these are kind of like crushed a little bit. So the first one that oh, I see here uh, is sweet popcorn. Actually, it looks like little rocks or pebbles or like some kind of fossil. <laughs> barbecue flavor it's super crushed it's like the clover chips mm -hmm. Ew. I don't like it it was like a like expired bacon or something <laughs> expired expired <laughs> okay next chips okay uh, these are called Wheat flour snack artificial pepper flavor. Pepper flavor, that means this is hot. It's super tiny. It looks like a little pillow. More chips. There's three chips or Yep. It tastes exactly like peppers. Is it hot though? Peppers with I mean very tiny peppers. Okay, it tastes like peppers, but it's not spicy though. Okay, next chips. This one is interesting. It looks just like little strips of stuff. This is also pepper though. There's, there, it's something that's also pepper. I don't know. So they like pepper. I guess they really like their peppers in Brazil. Okay, so this is just a little strip of whatever it is. Fun. This is so um how do you even say this? It's so bland. There's literally nothing interesting or satisfying <laughs> about it. These are basically gummies and they are yogurt flavor or something like that. I mean it's alright. It tastes just like gummies. This is interesting because these look like just like the sprinklers you use on cakes or cupcakes. Why are we gonna eat just the sprinklers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check my book on this one. Okay, so these say chewy, tutti fruity gummies are covered in crazy colorful sprinkles to bring a little party straight to you. Okay, in the picture of the booklet, it looks like there's like little balls in it. But this is like completely crushed and all I see is a flat surface of sprinkles. So... I see. Oh, okay. Squished. I see. There's like gummies underneath the sprinkles or something okay this is like stuck to the plastic like it's glued it's all got I think squished. not only got squished it got melted so now it's all look it's all 
completely glued to the plastic. Mm. Honestly, I don't think this is edible where I'm not. It doesn't look right either. So we're just not going to try this one. Okay. Um, can skip that. I know I would not like it anyway. It's just a weird thing. But honestly, this does not look right at all. These look like chocolate bars and they have coconut in it. A wafer chocolate. I mean, it is alright. I'm just not a big fan of coconut. Yeah. Maybe if it was something else, I would have liked it, was it more. Just chocolate and that's it. Yeah, the chocolate and the wafer. There's a little uh, Goya Bika. No idea what this is. So this has guava on it, which is a fruit. Oh no. This is one of those weird things. It's not chocolate, it's just like a piece of fruit bar with sugar on it, probably. And I see that there's like white cheese in it. Why would you put cheese with guava and Whatever this this is weird already. <laughs> that was not good. We have a big package of wafers. That looks good. The only thing is that this is... The flavor is lemon mousse. Why lemon mousse? Lemon? Supposed to be lemon flavor? Yeah. Yeah, it's lemony. I can, I can taste the lemon. This would be so good if it was chocolate though. Next we also have another big package here and this is pongy mayo which is honey so this is like a little chocolate little cookie with honey okay <laughs> it's glued together what am i supposed to do look it's all coming apart that looks good It's not. It's not? No. It's like a really dry and chewy biscuit. Where's the honey? Oh, man. I don't know. Not that good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's not a lot of good stuff. There's nothing good in here. Usually, this is where all the weird bad stuff is. These little things. So if this was already bad, I cannot imagine what's awaiting us in this one. Okay, so we have three different things here. So this one is basically chocolate and banana. I don't know if this is supposed to be a gummy. So it's like a bar. So I guess a bar is probably like weird stuff. Oh, it's sure. Oh, no. oh, it's chewy like a gummy, but it's chocolate. Okay. Why? Yeah. Oh, what is this? What is this? The next one is uh, peanuts. So it's a peanut bar. <laughs> I took the tiniest bite in history. Ah, uh, it has that chewy caramel consistency of weirdness. Okay, the last one is coconut. Yay! Brazil does love coconut. I 
again a chewy bar ew okay so this was probably the worst box so far <laughs> I did not like anything it's crazy and now we are going to cast our votes okay we cast our votes and now we are gonna announce the best yam, the runner-up, the worst yam, and the most unusual. So we have different opinions on this one. I think it's the first time where our opinions are very different. Uh, so for me, the best yam is not that it's the best, it's just the one that I can stand the most. <laughs> because there is no best one because I don't like anything. So I'm just gonna go with which one I can stand eating the most. And that is the wafers lemon one, even though I would prefer chocolate, but still, I can't stand eating it. And the runner up, which is the second one I can't stand eating, um, it is the gummies, the yogurt gummies. The most unusual one for me, I, I put the one that we did not even eat because this is very unusual like I don't even know what this is so the worst yum was the banana chocolate mess so those are my votes and now you go I'll start with the worst same with you it's the chocolate banana worst um, most unusual is the popcorn Sweet popcorn. Kind of it looks weird. Weird, but it's. It doesn't look like popcorn. That's the unusual. This is the runner up. Second best. I like these chips actually. The pepper chips. And my best. The best one, I think. I actually like it. Yes. Another pepper. Okay, he likes the pepper. So these two. Okay, so this was a very disappointing box, but I'm excited to find out what's going to be next month's box. And I am going to read the clue for next month's box, and I'm still hoping it's going to be a lot better. <laughs> okay, so here's the clue. Once known as Formosa in the East China Sea, they've got snacks with five spices and sweet bubble tea. It's up for heated debate if they're a country or not, but one thing's for certain, their yums hit the spot. That's the one that's getting to me. Is it like Hong Kong? Wait, is Hong Kong... Hong Kong... Do people like debate if it's a country or not? No, Hong Kong is a capital of... Of what? Of China. No, we always oh. think Hong Kong is the capital of China, but it's not. It's Shanghai. Right? Oh man, Shanghai I'm so lost right now. Hong Kong is like a whole other country or something. Taiwan is is its own country. But I thought Taiwan was just a yeah, but part of... We everybody knows that's a national country. Why they're saying it's up for heated debate if it's a country or not. That means that people get confused or something. Oh, maybe it's Hong Kong. It could be Hong Kong. I apologize for all the stupid things we just said. That is it for this video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed us tasting a bunch of awful snacks. <laughs> and and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe because I will see you next time. Bye bye.